Wow. <laughs> oh. Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna make something very interesting. So as you can see right here, we have three sweet potatoes. We're gonna trim off the little edges and then we're gonna wash them. We're gonna rub a little bit of oil over the top of them, a little bit of salt. We're gonna wrap them in foil paper and then we're gonna bake them. Once we've done that, guess what we're gonna do to these? We're gonna add some pulled jerk chicken, um, some shredded cheese we're gonna bake and melt over top of it. And then we're gonna make a delicious avocado sour cream. So this is gonna be delicious. This is just an idea of how you can reuse your leftovers from Thanksgiving to make something delicious. Also, if you have leftover turkey, you can substitute that instead of the pulled chicken. All right, so we're gonna make something delicious today and stay tuned. So, as you can see, we trim our sweet potatoes and now we're gonna just wash them nicely in some water. And then we're gonna let them sit in the water for just a little bit so that we can make sure that we get rid of all the dirt and all those stuff off of these sweet potatoes. Once we've done doing that, then we're gonna dry them in paper towel and then we're gonna get them ready for Guys, the oven. as you can see, our sweet potatoes are nice and cleaned and we're gonna move them out of that and we're gonna put them on paper towel. So now they're on paper towel and we're just gonna pat them dry gonna pat them dry once they're all dry then we're gonna rub them with some canola oil and some salt and wrap them in foil paper and put them in the oven on 400 degrees and I'll give you a time of how long to bake them once we've done bake them and see the proper tenderness and as you can see these are um, small to medium potatoes so these are not the extra large so based on the size they may take longer potato here all dried and a technique I always like to use, I like to keep the cap on the bottom. Oh, all right, there we go. So we can control the amount of oil we put on our sweet potato. So we just wanna make sure that we coat the sweet potato in the oil like that. And then we're gonna sprinkle our salt over the top of it. So we don't wanna do too much salt, but because we're gonna be eating the skin of this potato once we stuff it and everything like that, I wanna make sure that we get a little salt on the skin so that we have a little bit of flavor. All right, so that's one potato done. And then we're gonna wrap them and stick them in the oven at 400 degrees. Meanwhile, our potatoes are in the oven baking. In our blender right here, we have one avocado, eight ounces of sour cream, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of hot sauce and we're going to puree this and make a nice avocado sour cream crema all right so this is going to top our baked sweet potato with our jerk chicken Whew, and the cheese just thinking about this i'm already salvated oh my goodness guys just stay tuned because this is going to be one delicious upgrade to your thanksgiving dinner our sauce is done look at how nice that is we want to puree but we don't want to make it too thin so we want to add a, have just a little bit of chunks left in there. I did add a half a teaspoon of sugar uh, to add a little sweetness to it because it was a little bit too tart because of the sour cream and the avocado. So we did add a little sugar to it, just a half a teaspoon. But I'm telling you, this is going to be so delicious. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Normally when I go to the grocery store, I normally buy pre-shredded cheese in a pack. And I was like... You know, let me look for a different version. I always hear people say cheese from Vermont is so good. So I've found this Kabat. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. But um, this is a gluten-free, halal-free, and all that stuff cheese. So we're going to use a little bit of our Vermont Cirrus the Sharp cheddar cheese, which is the white one. And then we're going to use a little bit of the regular cheddar. All right, so we're going to shred this up nicely. And then we're going to top our potato with that. And then our avocado crema that used to be made earlier. I, thinking about this, this is a new recipe that I'm trying out. And just thinking about it, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is going to be delicious. So just stay Guys, tuned. Guys, as you can see in our pan here, we have about one tablespoon of oil heated. We're going to add our chicken. Once we add our chicken, then we're going to liberally coat with our homemade jerk sauce. Wow. And then we're going to add our wet jerk to that. 
Oh my. So I finally get back my walker jerk. Jerk sauce. From when I was in Jamaica. Oh my. This is going to be delicious. Just toss it around until it's nicely heated through and we get a little bit of crispiness on the bottom. Alright, see you guys in just a few while we assemble our potatoes. So guys, as you can see, we have our beautiful sweet potato after an hour of baking in the oven. We have our pole jerk chicken and we're going to stuff that right inside of our sweet potato. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh wow, we got to make sure that we stuff it. Ooh. Oh my goodness, the aromas in this jerk chicken right here is just amazing. Look at that. Oh wow. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna need a knife and fork for this because this is gonna be so stuffed and delicious. Oh wow. Oh, I'm telling you, this is gonna be one delicious bite. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit of our, our cheese. I mean, these, you can eat one of this and you're gonna be nice and stuff. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm excited for, for you to see me try this. Oh, I can bet you you're not gonna be salvating. Oh my God. You can see, look at that. Our baked potato, the cheese is nice and melted. Now we're gonna add our avocado cream on top of that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Avocado cream is added. And then we have some shaved scallion that we're gonna put on top of there. Oh wow. Oh wow. Woo! Look at that beautiful. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, 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 look at that. Oh my goodness. Today we have a jerk chicken stuffed baked sweet potato topped with avocado sour cream. Oh my goodness. Wow. Guys, just, just take a look at that. Just take a look at that. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go in. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh my. Look at that guy. Wow. <laughs> oh. Mm. Guys, this is what you call an upgrade from the basic candied yams from Thanksgiving. Oh man. And this definitely has a Jamaican twist to it. That jerk chicken in there, give it a nice little bit of heat. That little bit of salt that we put on the outside of the potato, definitely you don't taste it. You get that nice refreshing flavor from the sweet potato, a nice little heat from the jerk chicken, and the avocado crema and the cheese just ties the whole thing together. Oh my goodness. Wow, it's like eating a sweet potato taco. Oh wow. Oh. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. <laughs> when you hear people talk about heaven, this is what they're talking about. Oh my goodness, look at that. Guys, I wish you were here right now to try this because this is amazing. Wow. <laughs> mm. Wow, look at that. As Miriam would say, eh, 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 eh. oh my god, that is so good. Mm. Wow. 
wow. Wow, 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 wow. Mm. 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 Guys, this is amazing. I wish I had made this recipe before today. I'm not even going to clean all that dripping because it tells me that it's good. Wow. Wow. I'm telling you, if you make this for Thanksgiving, your family would be happy. Mm. I want to finish this other one, but right now I'm so full. Guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this content, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. Click that notification bell beside the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I post new content. Guys, love, peace.